Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning into the Silly Goose Sports Talk. I am Big T. And I am Skippy. Before we get into today's episode, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell because it helps us bring our latest take and latest sports news. <gasps> there you go. There you go. All right. Hello, Timmy. How are we today? Hello. Uh, pretty good. We're just waiting for this ginger to show up. Yeah, there, there's no ginger. It's quite upsetting, frankly. Well, there was there's a crazy life. worship with the church on Sunday. We, uh, we carried. Uh, yes, me, 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 me and Timmy, is, uh, we finally crossed our paths with, with praise. Basically, I joined Praise and Worship, which is just our youth group thing, um, yeah. about a month ago. And Timmy wasn't even at that youth group. He was he wasn't worshiping in the praising with me. But it was a gosh damn mess this week. Hey, we did a good job though. Hey, yeah, but I was I was like in top class, and Domi was there talking about talking about the vocals. I'm like, we carried. She's like, no. I'm like, we the vo. The, listen, the instrument's hard carry. Yeah, I mean, oh, us in Temple, bro. You know, you guys were going off. I had my my amp died halfway through, so I was going acoustic. I have a bass amp, so next time I'll bring my bass amp, and we'll be fine. Mm. Well, I'm 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 just trying. I'm fighting to be heard, but other than that, we were we were vibing in the back. We were rolling. Meanwhile, meanwhile there was a mess. There was an absolute mess going on in the front. I don't know. I think there's some sort of miscommunication. I don't know. Yeah, but then there was the fault that two of the people weren't even supposed to, or two of the people weren't even at practice. Yeah, well, that explains And it. one was new. One was even supposed to play. Dang. So, so yeah. But other than that, it's been pretty uneventful. Bye. I had my last day of a Monday cop last yes. yesterday. So that's nice. That's good, that's I have good. Two, I, have two more twos, I have two more Tuesday co-ops after this. But you know what? We, we got the NFL draft and the Washington yeah, Commanders. The NFL draft. The, 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 we, we had uh, Bryce Young go in number one, as we predicted. CJ Stroud going number two. But um, yeah. something I did not expect that is uh, Washington went defense instead of going offensive line in the first round. They went uh, Emmanuel Sanders, cornerback from Mississippi State. This guy, was, I, I looked at this guy's highlights. This guy was a beast in college. So hopefully, events the back end gets picks up pretty good. Then we got another cornerback, Jartavius Martin from Illinois, and then rounds three and four we picked up Ricky Armstrong and Brendan Daniels, a couple more offensive linemen. Then we got another edge rusher, KJ Henry from Clemson. He was pretty good. Then we got Chris Rodriguez, a running back from Kentucky. We, which I don't think we need another running back honestly, because we have a. Uh, Antonio Gibson and B Rob, those guys are gonna be absolute beasts. And we also got Andre Jones Jr., a defensive end from Louisiana Lafayette. So decent draft spot. How about you guys? Yeah. I mean over in Studios Country, we got um in round one, fourteen overall, we got Bro Derek Jones from Georgia. Yeah, Robert. He's, yeah. yeah, he'll do. He'll do something. Yeah. Uh, two, we got Joey Porter from Penn State. Um, he's a cornerback. We got a uh, Keanu Benton from Wisconsin. Then we also got Darnell Washington, which is a tight end from Georgia, and then a couple other uh, linebacker, cornerback, and then you know. Yeah. Honestly, nothing too special, but hopefully these new players will bring something to the table. Yeah, and then we also do have the uh, XFL. The DC Defenders are in the championship game this weekend, I believe that is. I mean, I did forget about the XFL for for a solid second. But yeah. The division championships were this weekend. It was the uh, Arlington Renegades versus the Houston Rednecks. Arlington Renegades actually beat them uh, twenty six to eleven, and then our our boys, the DC Defenders versus Seattle Sea Dragons. Of course, DC won 37 to 21. The championship, which will be Saturday, May 13th, will be the Arlington Renegades and the DC Defenders. Yeah, for half a second, I thought it was Arlington, Virginia, not Arlington, Texas. But um, that's okay. The DC Honestly, Defenders will listen, hopefully. The DCs are going to win. Uh, no, there's no doubt. No doubt in my mind. I mean, and watch them just lose. That's probably going to happen. But we do have some baseball on the docket this week. What's going on in the Fred Nets realm these days? Oh, yeah. So, Fred Nets, I'm actually going to a uh, 
to a game this uh, Saturday, and I'm going to be shadowing in the control booth itself. So, hey, looking forward to that. Yeah, but that the Nets are still figuring things out since they won the road this week. They went three and seven. Could be worse. Could be better. Current record seven thirteen. They're figuring things out. Pitching sucks, but that's how it goes. Yeah, that's good. But um, the Nationals look like they're doing a little bit better. Honestly, Until they hit yeah. a brick wall in Pittsburgh and lost sixteen to one. During during prom, that was this guy funny. goes up to me while I was dancing with a, I think it was my date, and this guy goes up and shows, "Hey, buddy, look at this sixteen to one." Yeah, that was crazy. Oh, but but the Orioles are another. Like, kind of, eh. I was gonna say the Nats' car records ten seventeen. Yeah, but they're doing good. Dragging their way, dragging their heels across the line. They're tr- they're doing the best they can. The Orioles are a different kind of crazy though, as they take two or three from the Red Sox and then three or four from the Tigers. So let's go, let's go. The O's are charging right now. Right now they're nineteen and nine. They're just about four games back in the division. If the Rays have a bad week, the Orioles are right here to pounce. So at a boy. You know, let's see. They're playing. They're playing the Royals, which is uh, Harrison's boys, and then they take on the Braves, which uh, I am scared for. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll see about that. No, uh, yeah, hopefully. Old, yeah, Carry on. Buccaneers who have been, whew, oh baby, the old Buccaneers are going crazy, going five and seven with really good pitching, great batting, and a clean. Clean twenty nine twenty nine record. Nice, nice, nice. We take. I mean, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a Pirates fan right now. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah, five and seven. Mm-hmm. Now we do, we do have some of the NHL playoff stuff. I have not followed that as much this week, but um, let me pull this up. We do have the um. Maple Leafs finally winning a series as they beat the Lightning 2-1 to one in overtime. Then you have the Stars beating the Wild. And then you got the Oilers beating up on the Kings. Then the Panthers shocking the Bruins in Game, game 7 in overtime. And then the Kraken get their first playoff series win by beating up on the Avalanche. And then the Devils beat the Rangers 4 nothing in the Game 7 finale. Yeah. And get the round two consists of Panthers versus Maple Leafs, Kraken versus Stars, Devils versus Hurricanes, and Oilers versus Golden Knights. I want to see me some some uh, Oilers versus Maple Leafs in the finals. There, what do you say to that? Honestly, I would. I would. I would I'm rooting for the Maple Leafs. Yeah, that's, that's probably the only team I don't have anything against. Yeah, it'd be nice to see them get something. And uh, what's up on the joke front? Oh, the jokes. You want to get some, you want to get some funny jokes, Timmy? All right, so. Uh, uh, uh. Where do football players go shopping in the off season? Where? The tackle shop. Mm-hmm. Where, do the, where do hamburgers go dancing? Where? A, meat, a meatball. <laughs> Why do why did Mickey Mouse go to space? To find Pluto. That's that's something else. Why did Harry Potter suddenly go bald in his teens? Why? He lost his head wig. <laughs> Which that's room has no doors or windows? What? A mushroom. Oh. Oh, I see now. That, mm. Why are apple chops so dark? Why? They have no windows. <laughs> well, are, they're like the opposite of dark. They are so. Have you ever been to an apple store? God, yeah, I've it's seen. Like it's like you're going into a. a it's some. It's something else. Yeah. It's like it's like if Google Docs was a store. <laughs> That doesn't make sense, but it does. No, I don't understand that entirely. <laughs> no, there's no, no, there's no basketball because the Wizards lost, so we're not following the playoffs there. But um, you had Ryan Truex getting the Xfinity Series win, and then after a 
pretty non-eventful cup race that got rained out to Monday. You did have uh, Martin Truex winning the Dover race after uh, Ross Chastain, Kamikaze, Kyle Larson by using a lap car to wreck him. Oh, yeah, Ross Chastain's at it again. Yeah, and he, he also takes the, takes the point lead with that. But, um, yeah, it looks like the NASCAR will be headed up. Where are they next week? It looks like the Advent Health 400 at Kansas, which is a nice track. I like that track. And then they go, then they go off to uh, Darlington and then the All-Star stuff. So, yippee-doo. There you go. There you go. I mean, yeah. Cars Anything still, else cars, we cars got still. on the docket today? I mean, we have a couple of potatoes this week, but without any actual potatoes, because nothing really bad happened. Actually, no. So, but Premier League, Boston Bruins, after a record 65 wins in the regular season, they lose in the first round of the playoffs in Game 7, which is a... Uh, what what an L. What what an absolute L. Rom- I mean, like, what? Um, we're just 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 for fun. We're gonna put the prom music just cause again. Just <laughs> just, just just cause it is, man. Jack. Yeah. We, we don't have a die off jerk week, but we do have a sweet chili leak. Waffle House prom. Cause we went to Waffle House for prom, which is pretty funny actually. Yeah, that we we we've was, actually you know was even more of a W at that prom. There was some fellows outside who was smoking pineapple, and I was really curious. Yeah, that smelled good, bro. It's it smelled good. That problem was weird, though. The police came. <laughs> it, that, yeah, it was a weird problem, man. But oh, yeah. In all seriousness, actual sports-wise, we have silly this leak, so um, I want to talk about this. So, did you hear about the uh, Pirates rookie? Uh, which one? So, we have Drew Maggie, who played 1,054 games of minor league ball. Which is quite a lot before going up to the majors, only to fill in for a bat, but got a massive standing ovation. Hey. Which is which is great. I mean, he got a hit, but he's gonna be probably back in the minors. But he's and he's been playing the minor leagues for for a thousand games, Timmy. That's that's quite a few. Yeah. Yeah, it was a really cool situation. Even even the even the Dodgers gave him a standing ovation. Yeah, that is crazy. But you know what else is crazy right now? The country charts. Ashley McBride makes her debut on the charts again with Light On in the Kitchen. And then you have uh, two Luke Combs songs in a row, Love You Anyway and Five Leaf Clover at 39 and 38. Colby Cooper's Excuses jumps up to number 37. And uh, Kelsey Ballerini's If You Go Down, I'm Going Down Too debuts at number 36. I really like that song. It's going to be nice to see her. Charge up the charts again. You got Stars Like Confetti by Dustin Lynch jumping seven spots up to number 33. Looks like that one's getting its funding. Tim McGraw's Standing Room Only jumps up three to number 28. Same thing happened to Drink Bye by Colson Dell jumps up to 27. Angels Don't Always Have Wings. Thomas Rhett up to number 24. Something in the Orange makes its return. It's up to number 25. Oh, boy. Your Heart or Mine by John Party it jumps up six spots to number 19. You have How It Oughta Be by Shane Prophet up to number 16. Memory Lane, Old Dominion up to number 15. And uh, you just got a bunch of songs just moving up one or two spots. Whoa, yeah. look at this. You have three Morgan Wallen songs in a row. I number, know, but... n- number nine, One Thing at a Time. Number eight, Last Night. And number seven, thought you should know. So that's just funny. That is fun. I like we have three, we have three Morgan Wallen songs and two Luke Combs songs on the charts right now. Wild as her, Corey Kent, number six, and then number five, you got uh Tyler Hubbard dancing in the country up three spots. Number five, Hand on You, Parker McCollum down to number four. Number three, Dirk Bentley's Gold, and uh, your favorite thing in the world at number two, Skippy. Wait in the flipping truck. Why? And rocking a there hard place is that number one. About this song. Same song, different verse. Bailey Zimmerman's rocking a hard place is at number one for like what the fourth or fifth week in a row now. You know so what? good on you. Keep it up there. If if wait in the truck, yeah, mark my words. If wait in the truck is at number one next week, 
we're ending the podcast. It's this is the last episode. No, I no, swear, no, 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 we I cannot. Swear. No, if it, if it, if it's, we can't do that. <laughs> we, Brendan is being fired if it if it goes up to way the truck. Nah. We will. Uh... Yeah. Um. Silver lining, way the truck better never be up there. I swear. Ooh, we'll throw rocks at Skippy if it ends up in the balloon. Okay? Yeah, I'm. I will let Brendan sucker punch me in the stomach if it gets up to to number one. No, I lost an arm wrestle to him, and my elbow is like still dead, and it's like in two days. Oh yeah. So I I will say I am now the prestigious owner of like a of the agent of like four top class arm wrestlers. I mean, I mean, I man, my, my boys are doing well. I I I hired I hired my boy Brendan. I hired you. All sponsored by Silly Sports Talk, by the way. I mean, if you if you would like if you like to pursue this this prestigious new new athletic development, let let me sponsor you. I'm a good athlete. I mean, oh, not a right. single one of my of my of my I don't even know what you'd call them. What uh, would you call it? What I don't my know. clients? None of my clients have lost a single game. Well, I lost to him. I lost to Brandon, so Yeah, but I was that was I mean my other guy was so one. But then I also have Luke Chavez and then Diego. I mean, I have a stacked roster, I'm not gonna lie yeah. to you. I've been making big moves over here. But honestly, that's pretty much it. Nothing that massive. Well, happened. what's the mighty honker of the week, song wise? Oh, um, long cool lady in a black dress. I've just been working out the riff of that one. Nice, nice. So, so there you go. I'll do a repeat. I gotta do uh, "Born in the USA," Springsteen. Born in the USA. Also, I, I I did just learn what that song actually meant. Let's hear it. With Vietnam and yeah, yeah. Have you, have you ever actually? Have you actually? Okay, we need to talk about this. I what's your graduation song? I I just need you to tell the people. Oh, yeah, you'll 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 find out later. I know it. I know what it is, Timmy. Yeah, is that a bad thing? Right, so, so, so what is no? No one's allowed to know. But why? It it feels so off brand. What do you so mean off brand? Me, when I think of you, I don't think of that specifically. That I've never heard of that song that I listened to. I'm like, hmm. you, you've never heard it? No. That song was all over the place, like in 2018. Legends by Kelsey Ballerini. Okay, so he dropped. He dropped it. I mean. <laughs> I, 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 we, when, when I went, first went through the process of picking a graduation song, I, I at first my thought process was, okay, let's do something funny. Yeah. And then I thought, you know what? And then I decided, you know what? I'm actually going to take this seriously. And when I, as I narrowed it down, that one, that one was the last one standing. Well, what was the other um, possibilities? Uh, I caught fire by the used. We also we we also had chicken fried. I love chicken fried, but I don't. Uh, but like that's not a song I want to like associate with just high school because that's a song that I had earlier in my childhood. You know. Yeah, I mean, I disagree to some point with that, but yeah, I still want to do "Glory Days" as my graduation. song. That's a good I one. I, I know I have a long way to go, but I feel like a good graduation song. Yeah, that that's a good one. I just don't know if Legends was was the was the choice I I would have associated with you. I mean, it's a fine song, but it feels so un. It feels like it's such a, I don't know. It was unexpected when I when when Aaron told me because I was anticipating you to like American Idiot. Because I think that'd be a funny one. Is it bad that I'm taking this seriously and not taking this as a joke? I think there would have been better options. I know. I I I totally understand that. I just don't know if it, I just, I just, yeah. It was just, it was just a little bit of a, hmm. Yeah, good, all power to you for picking it, but it was just not the one I expected, gonna be honest. Well, I'm full of surprises, so. Imagine, imagine guy goes up and starts playing some shady. I should do that. 
<laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Look, that's that no wait, Timmy, I have an idea. That is gonna be your graduation speech. You go up and you just and you say every single lyric. Can I have your attention, please? Wow. <laughs> and that that's your graduation speech. It's genius. Let me do that, actually. I like the sound of that, my boy. That's what now, I'm uh, it looks like that's all we got on the podcast this week. Next week, we should have a little bit more if Brendan yeah. decides or, to show or, Timmy, or your graduation speech can be wait in the truck. No. <laughs> now, imagine you, you that. Do that now, imagine you do that. You do that for yours. You Imagine that. All right. But that is pretty much it. So, we thank you all for listening today. Um, most of our episodes. I know we've been released yet two o'clock. I don't know. That probably doesn't matter for most of the people, but we'll be back to twelve o'clock in three weeks, probably. Okay. Yeah, but but anyways, thank you everybody for listening, and make sure to keep on honking. Okay.